Legend of Total War here with part 16 of my legendary Rome 2 Let's Play campaign. Okay, so previously I've consolidated my forces, uh, or my position here in uh, the Northern Alps. The rebellion has happened, but I've got that covered, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, and I took Isle, and I'm about to take out Athens. Uh, but before I do any of that, there was a YouTube comment that I just received that I felt absolutely needed to be addressed in a video um, in regard to difficulty. Now, you all saw me at the very beginning of the game. I can't actually change the campaign difficulty, but as it turns out, the battle difficulty can be changed, but it's been on Legendary. Now, as it turns out, it's it's completely possible for me to to switch the battle difficulty down to easy. That's absolutely possible. Um, but basically, you know, I don't try to show you guys what settings I'm doing. So, I, you know, in regard to any tweaking that I'm doing, um, it was something that I fixed up before I go into it because I try and make this more like an entertainment video. Um, and I think it's actual bullcrap that you can even change the, the battle settings in the game as it is. I think it should have just been set and then... Can I change that? What can I change? Can I change that? No, I can't. Good. I hate the fact that I can change this in a game setting. Um, I know that you can change it in Empire, and they've brought that back, and I think that's a fucking mistake from Creative Assembly. Um, whatever the, the difficulty you set the game on, that should be what it stays at for the entire campaign, and if you fuck up halfway through it, that's your own fucking problem. Um... That's my personal opinion. So, Legendary is what the battle difficulty is on, and what it will stay. Uh, and if I lose, I lose, basically. And... Yeah, so anyway, let's just cut straight to the chase, okay? And, uh, take down Athens. Now, I've got a large force here, but I've got problems, okay? In that Macedonia is here. Pella can't repel them. I've got the whole province. I don't want to lose any regions. It's under control at the moment. So what I need to do... I've got a guy here that needs dealing with. Um, no, I don't want that. I don't want that either. Yep, that's good. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, also, I don't have very much time to, to do this video, so I'm going to make it a short one. Try and make it... Pro it might be under half an hour, so I'll try and go as quickly as I can. Uh, but I am on a timeout this time much more so than usual. Now, um, let's see. I need to recruit, no, I need to recruit a new general because I'm splitting my forces. This guy is the new guy, isn't it? Yeah, how's it, Julia? Get him. Ready for battle. Good. Uh, Ready for orders. put some forces in there. I think five ought to do it. Commander. Ready for battle. Send him command. up to Pella. To your duties, men. Commander. And send this guy. Now, have I constructed this yet? No, I haven't. Send we this guy to battle. take on Athens. And he should do fine by himself. And once again, stressing, of course, battle difficulty, legendary. I hate the fact that I have to bloody verify that. It should be fucking set permanently and that just that just really fucking pisses me off about this game actually um that that's even cuz I'd hate to you know just accidentally come on here one day and go oh just double check everything and go oh look it's on medium and I'll just be so fucking pissed off but luckily it's on it legendary I feel like I have to fucking quit it if that's the case um Anyway, let's continue on here. None will escape. And try not to dwell on that too much. Let them cower before Rome. Now, once again, of course, I apparently don't have got Praetorians and all that kind of shit, so I'll be fine. Good. It's dry. That's what I like to see. Now, splitting my forces up again. These guys are going through the... F Actually, no, I've got the option for three, don't I? 
Oh, that's too far away. But still, okay, actually, I'll have these guys there. I'll have one here, plus the general. And these guys over here. That way, I've got options to take out the three um, gates. Okay, this gate here is looks like it's undefended. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, so that's where they are there. So they'll just stay put. And it looks like this is where their reinforcements are coming. So I definitely want to stay fairly clear away from them. Oh, they're being shot at already. But of course they're Praetorian, so they're practically invincible. Well, actually no, they're not, but... So in order to see if it's, um, game settings, nope. Yeah. Can't change the battle settings during a battle, so that's something that's good. Yeah, so that was something I felt absolutely needed to be addressed, so, um... In regard to the battle difficulty, because... You know... Um... There is always the possibility that some people will say, Oh look, it's on the legendary difficulty, and then switch the slider down to easy. And of course, obviously that would be pretty easy to detect, if that was the case. If you were watching that video. But then again, I have had a fairly easy time so far um, using my Praetorians. So they're going inside. So yeah, I've only lost one man there. And, oh wait, they can't go inside yet. Go Testudo. I don't know if I like Testudo, it seems to so far have caused me more damage, but I don't know, they're alright. So they're going inside. The enemy's gates have Good, been that's destroyed. destroyed. Get out of Testudo. And we're gonna take the tower as well. Not just get inside. Just because, why not? Okay, so all of them went inside. That's fine. I was kind of looking forward to maybe hitting them with cavalry, but that's probably not going to happen now. Okay, now you move over here. Take that tower. I'm actually interested to know if there's much difference between easy battle difficulty and legendary battle difficulty. I know in Shogun 2, um, the difference between easy and, like, very hard, or legendary, it's not huge. I think that in the the game that where it's the biggest difference is actually Rome 1. The difference between easy and very, and very hard is huge. Um, just in my opinion. In Medieval 2, it's practically nothing in my opinion. And in Empire, it's it's a lot, depending on what the unit is. If you're using cannons, then it's nothing. Um, if you're using uh, line infantry, then on very hard, they're useless. 
Oh shit, I, they're hidden from me. Fucking bastards. See, look, even on legendary difficulty, they don't take much daff. They don't take damage. Well, they do kind of. We have I've taken less power. damage when I was freaking moving around. Where are you? Bloody help out. When I was running around. Our general is under attack. Come on. No, 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 not you. No, come on, come on, come on. Do as you're told. What the fuck are you doing? Good, smash them up. What are we going over here? Got the towers, good. Let's move forward. Can't move forward there. Yeah, don't want my general getting killed. Wait, are there more over here? No, I don't want to risk it. Actually, chase them down. No, no, don't. Just stay away. Come on. Knock down the fucking gates. <laughs> no welcome party here. I'm just going to go straight and take the fucking victory points then. If they're not going to have a welcome party. Fine with me. Maybe it's on its way. Okay, so it's open now. Wait, is it though? No, it's not, but... Fucking hell, they've opened the gates and now they're causing me shit. I might have to pull back if this keeps up. Getting shot, it's a big problem. Infantry at your command. Up at speed, Praetorians. Commander. On double. Take time. those grounds. Romans to a man. Okay, have I broken them? Yep, they're broken. Now they fucking open the gates again. Getting shot. Just close the fucking gates already. Alright, get back. We've got these guys. These guys are pretty much set to take victory at this point. Yep, you're out. Stop fighting. Taking a beating. Shooting my backs, no wonder. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Anyway. Let's go and smash them. Okay, so I've got that victory point, so I need to block them off from getting it. For retaking it. Kick their ass. Easy. Get out of there. Good. That was just very unlucky in regard to that. They opened the gate and just they made it fucking impossible for me to make my moves on that. Okay, now they'll start losing ground. Now let's watch the video. Ah, there's fucking trees in my way. A shrub.
Well, I've definitely won the battle, that's for sure. It's a shame I took so many casualties with this guy, though. Alright, he's walking, he should be running. I'll manually control this. There we go. Kick their ass. Don't let them get to the victory point. Oh, they already... No, they're not broken. Oh, it's a little bit messed up there. What's going on here? This is all their uh, mob and shit. The enemy fort will soon be ours. So yeah, Praetorian kick ass. Heroic victory. In his neck. That's what he deserves. And Athens is mine. Fantastic. Your next command. Good stuff. He's already got a command. Well, I think he needs to do one battle. Good. We hunger for battle. So let's see. What will I give you? Actually, that's something I probably have to deal with um, next time because. I could have to quit this video at any point and exit the game and of course I can't save and so if any if I do anything now I'll just have to redo it again when I come back and I'd rather not have any inconsistencies um, between what you guys can see um, so I'm not going to make any more dis uh, let's just see what I can do that doesn't take any time um, because any time I make an attack on something, it auto-saves it. So, let's see. Because I've got about five more minutes before I have to exit the video. So I can't enter any more manual battles. Now, these guys here, I would like for them to invade Tingis. Yes, I would like that very much. So I'll go into Forced March problem is though they're not going to recover all their numbers here but I'm sure that's not going to be a problem because New Carthage hasn't really been a challenge at all it doesn't look like they've even got anything there so Journey completed. The rebellion's probably going to happen shortly but actually it might have been a better idea to just stay there at that point uh, it's, it's not going to make any difference this is a pretty strong, pretty strong army here uh, so how many turns until Rebellion? Three. Yeah, they'll have conquered that region, which is the region capital. Hopefully the uh, the rebels should show up near the region capital. Uh, but if they don't, then it doesn't really bother me too much because I think Tingi is worth a lot more, right? Yep, it's worth a bit more. Um, but in the meantime, what will I do with it? Nothing. Uh, Carthage is owned by oh, New Carthage. Uh, that's not even New Carthage. It's just called Carthadasht. Is is a uh, Carthaginian for Carthage? Um, I think. At your command. I want to take on Vesontio as well, so I need to march them we for because this region is safe Ready for further orders. 
due to um, the rebellion being here. Now, I need to find something in order for it to be able to auto resave because I'm getting off the game um, in a few minutes. Commander. Now, there are a bunch of agents here. So, I could initiate an agent mission and succeed or fail. Um, that will auto save it and I can quit it then. So, what else should I do? If that's the case, then I can make my decision with this guy. Will, how long will that take? One turn. Fantastic. Uh, oh, I forgot to give him this. He can have... Wouldn't, doesn't apply to next turn anyway. Extra morale for units. That won't really help, but whatever. And strategist. Fantastic. And in the political spectrum... Yeah. What's this guy? Oh, so this is this is my guy here. So it went... Okay. It's a general at Thapsus. All oh, right, yep. Yeah, I know what he's for. And that will supposedly lower... Oh, that lowers the upkeep of these guys. Right. Because that's a trait for him. Right? Is that right? Yes, there it is. Their military tribune understands war. Nice. This guy is turning out to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, you're doing that stuff. Let's see. I want to hire an agent, I think. Yeah, because this guy, he'll be able to help the cultural growth of... Because there's going to be a lot of expansion into Gaul, so... I'll... Purchase... The one that gives the most cultural growth. Which is him. And his effects should come into effect next turn. Alright, I'm really on the clock now. I've got to end this, so... Let's see, what can my agent do? Because I don't want to attack this. I could attack it, and it might run away, but I can't guarantee that. Um, Ready for battle. And I'd rather risk an agent action. Let's have a look. So they've got... They've got some people here. What, what is this? This is a veteran, I think. And if I can use my spy use manipulation to... Okay, so the chances of success aren't particularly great. I prefer if they were better than that. What about... What about with this person? It's even worse. What about... This one? Okay, so the chances here are actually pretty good. If I use temptation which is 85% chance of success, I could probably bring that, uh, I don't know what type of unit that is, whether that be a spy or a veteran, over to my cause, which would be great. Or will I risk coercion? 77% chance or 85% chance for the small monetary increase, I'll go with temptation. We shall do what he wants. Was there ever any doubt? Fan fucking tastic. So, you are now Hi. mine. And what are you? A war maiden. What do you do, though? What kind of unit are you? I don't know. Um, if I go here, Agent, you are a veteran. Right, gotcha. Anyway, that should have auto saved because I made a decision. So I'm right to leave the video then. So sorry it was a short one. Uh, basically just wanted to get on and address the battle thing. So as you can see, still legendary. It will be legendary for the entire campaign. And I just, you know, it is annoying that you can even change the, the campaign difficulty. But that's, I don't know, they've made it that way. 
Um, not the campaign difficulty, the battle difficulty. Anyway, I really have to get out of here, so like and subscribe. Part 17 is next, and um, yeah, come and visit me on Facebook, okay? I'll see you next time.